Hey guys, this is Dooley, back for the third video in our series where we are trying to see how we can use the string class to accomplish things, you know. Um, yeah, we are here on the same file that we've been using for these videos. Uh, you can see video 1, video 2, and uh, now video 3. Um, uh, you can see that I've already uh, added some code for video 3, which is the creation of four strings. Uh, hello, Stinger, Hola, and Singer. Uh, and I've also commented out uh, the print statements that we've uh, we've used for the previous videos, uh, so we don't get confused and uh, and you know uh, create more trouble than we need. So now what we're gonna do in this video is uh, is compare strings. Uh, we're gonna use the the string compare function that uh, that's in the string class. And uh, we're gonna check out how it look, uh, how it works. So now you can see I have string two here and string four. These are pretty close. We have hello and hola. Now, when it, whenever you're trying to uh, use what a function or create a function or an algorithm, what you want to do is is uh, uh, predict what your what your um, outcome is going to be. So now what we want to do is is compare hello and hola. Now what we knew what we from what we know about the compare function is is that we should get a negative number if we say string two that compare uh, string four because hello is if we were to look in a dictionary for example and both hello and hola are in there the word hello would come before we would get to the word hola if we are going from left to right or from the beginning to the end. So this is what the compare function does. It will give you a negative number if uh, string two uh, uh, is uh, uh, you know, is c comes before string four. You'd get a positive number if string four comes before string two, and you would get a zero if the two strings are equal. So let's let's look at it and see what we mean here. So let's uh, see out. Now we're comparing string two. With string four. Let's give ourselves some space. Let's print this out and see what we get. Okay, now we got a negative number. What that means is, hello, uh, uh, which is string two that we are comparing to string four, would come before string four. Now the, we can we can verify this is right by by simply reverse this. Instead of comparing string two with string four, we can do string four with string two. Now this should give us a positive number. So let's see what we get. Okay, we get negative ten. We get plus ten. What that means is, okay, string four would come after string two. Now this is not the only way you can use the compare function. Uh, another way you can use it is is by uh, um, no. You know, putting as parameters drop substrings instead of strings. So let's try that. And the reason why I have string three and string five in here is to be able to do that. You can see within those strings we have uh, we have the substring inger uh, uh, from stinger and inger from singer. So what we're gonna do is uh, we compare them. So let's do string three. Dot compare. Now, because uh, as you can see, string three, uh, uh, the anger uh, part of string three starts at in this two. So let's start at two and finish at the length of string three. Let's do string three. Okay. 
Okay. And then we are comparing that to string 5. And we want to start at end this 1 because that's where the, the anger starts. And finish that at string 5. That left. And let's give ourselves some space. Let's print that out and see what we get. Okay, uh, we get zero. Now, the reason why we get zero is because the two strings are equal. Inger uh, from, from string three and Inger from string five are essentially identical. Uh, and uh, string three, so that's why we get a zero. Now, we know uh, how to use this function. So if you are planning on sorting something, uh, this would be a great, uh, uh, a great plus for you, and 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 you know, in creating a new alg an algorithm to be able to sort something. Now there are algorithms to to sort uh, strings that already exist, so you might want to give that a Google and see uh, what you can come up with, or you know yourself, you know, you can try to create one. Anyway, um, this was the third video. Uh, in this series, uh, so so far we've uh, we've created strings, uh, we've initialized and uh, and assigned strings, we've uh, modified strings, you know, to to you know to make uh, whatever whatever strings we want to up with a pen, with uh, uh, indices, you know, with the change of uh, letters at uh, specific indices, and now we 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 know how to compare strings. Uh, um, this is probably the last video I'm going to make about strings. Uh, I'm going to move on to other things. Now, if you guys have any other any questions and, and, and anything you'd like me to cover, please let me know. And uh, uh, we'll see you next time. I'm going to be uh, making some new videos about uh, other programming uh, topics. All right, guys.